Bismillah. Hi. Today we will start with the lessons in control strategies in process control. This will be a multi-part videos to learn about the control strategies in process control. We need a loop, a process control loop, to demonstrate the control strategies that we will discuss. Uh, we will discuss the manual control, the on-off control, the P control, the PI control, and the PID control. We will use different technologies to show exactly the same strategies. We will use MATLAB Simulink and Arduino. We will use the PLC plus the HMI. We will use the Arduino only using C programming. And I'll show you also a diagrams how to use the old school method, the op-amps. So in this multi-part videos, this is what we will learn. We will learn the light loop. And the light loop means I will control the intensity of the LED uh, using MATLAB Simulink with Arduino in manual, on off, P control, PI and PID, using the PLC and HMI as the controller in manual mode, on off control, P control, PI, PID, using the Arduino only as the controller using the manual strategy, on off control, P control, PI and PID, and we will see diagrams of the op amp, how to have a manual control, on off control, P control, PI and PID. So, first thing first, we need to be familiar with the closed loop negative feedback block diagram. This is a diagram uh, you show in any process control. You have a set point, which is the desired. Uh, uh, in our case, it's the intensity of the light. Uh, it's uh, the same thing, the same uh, loop uh, in your, at, your home, at your house when you control the temperature. You set a temperature, 22, 23 and the controller will read this temperature, the set point, and will read the current uh, temperature in your room. We will call it PV or process variable. The difference between them is the error. Based on the error, the control, and based on the control strategy and the algorithm in the control strategy, you will have a controller output. You will go to the actuator. In our case, it's the LED the, the, to, to have the light to control the, the intensity of the light, it is the plant or the process. If it's a temperature loop, my set point will be, let's say, 22 degrees. My PV, I'm reading it through a, a temperature sensor based on control strategy, whether on off, PPI, PID, my actuator will be the heater, and for sure the plant and the process will be the, the temperature itself. Uh, the hardware we are using, whether it's a PLC and Arduino, is actually this part. It's not the control strategy part. There is a misconception between the student that this is will be the Arduino or the hardware. No, the hardware is this part. Sometimes the set point is within. Sometimes is like the set point in the PLC. It will be uh, the HMI. I'll set the set point through the HMI, and the HMI will will uh, communicate with the PLC. Uh, so uh, the, the hardware is this part. This part is actually a software or algorithm uh, to control wh whatever you are controlling in your process control. And this concept is actually not new for us. We are using it every day. Each time you 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 want to reach for something for a pen for a, for a cup to drink or anything, this what happened. Your brain, which is the controller, will read. The, the, your current uh, location through your eyes, which are the sensor, and sending the actuation, sending the, the, the command or the control output to your arms or your legs to move toward uh, the location you want, and it's a continuous uh, process. So basically, the human being is the best example of uh, a control loop. Now, to set up the loop, we need to connect the Arduino. Uh, we will use the five volt supply in the Arduino to supply the LDR and the resistor. We, we you, as you know, uh, we, if you are connecting an LDR, a light dependent resistor or a photoresistor, you can't connect it directly to your analog input. 
unless otherwise you will read always 5 volt. So you need to create a voltage divider and based on the light, the, the resistance here will change. So the voltage here will change. So I'm having a different value. Uh, you have to remember I'm using the same setup if it is an Arduino only or Arduino plus Simulink. So this is my connect my connection. Uh, the LED is my actuator in this case. So I'm controlling it through the pulse width modulation. If you have an analog output in, in the PLC, this is uh, where I connected uh, through uh, the, the analog output. And uh, the LDR or the light dependent resistor is actually my sensor. And you have to remember, in reality, I'm controlling the intensity of the light. So my PV should be in lumens. Since I don't have a direct way to, to uh, measure that, but I can measure the voltage, which is indirectly connected to the, to the intensity of the light. So my PV will always be uh, the voltage I'm reading that produce here. I'm using this capacitor uh, to as a low pass filter uh, to, to smooth the input and we will see the effect of this capacitor soon. Uh, choosing this resistor, you can choose it randomly or you can be sciency as they put it, uh, to choose the best value to give you the best range for, for your output. As you see, I can uh, the Arduino can uh, read value between 0 volt and 5 volt, but that's not the range you are getting. You will get some something in between. So now let's see how this R is affecting my range for my analog input. For sure, definitely I will get a value between 0 and 5. Let's take let's assume this R is 1 kilo ohm. The value of the LDR or the light band resistors will change with light. So you need to have to measure its resistance when it's a light, when there is a light, and when there is a light mean the LED is facing the LDR and it's fully on. And you can see the LDR, how here it's the LDR facing the LED. So this is your R light, I'll call it R light, and based on this value, and you have here a 1 kilo ohm, and it's a 5 volt, you do your calculation, you will get here a certain value. Now, when it's dark, mean the LED is fully off, you only have the ambient, ambient light, the resistance here will change, so you will have a different value here. So the difference between this value when there is a light and this value when there is when it is dark, that's your range. So for each value of this R, you will have a different range. Some of those values are good, will give me a nice range. Some of them, it's not that good. So in order to find the good values, I build an Excel sheet. As you can see, I used the voltage divider rule, the out one. I assumed when there is light, it's R light. I measured the R light. And uh, a V out two when it's R dark. And for each value of R, I took the R's value from 0, 100, 200, up to 100,000. And based on this, I did this curve. And you can see the range I'm getting. So those are the best values you can get. So... Uh, my best range I will get is approximately 3.5 volt. If you go higher in value, uh, probably you will get almost 0.5 or 1 volt range. So build your Excel sheet, do your calculation. This 5 is my, uh, my input voltage. If I'm using the PLC, I'll change this to a 10. And you have to measure your R light and R dark. And remember, the LED must face the LDR. Now, back to the PowerPoint. We will start with manual control in uh, Simulink and Arduino.